What is the strategy in any game regarding ISIS? Sure, ISIS is obviously a, uh, uh, another example of how the, the extremist uh, threat has evolved over time. It started out as an al-Qaeda threat that was very centrally controlled by Osama bin Laden and now Ayman al-Zawahiri in Pakistan. And this is a, is a completely different offshoot. It actually started out as al-Qaeda, al-Qaeda in Iraq. Uh, they were defeated, essentially, but uh, came back over time, essentially uh, partly due to the sectarian na nature of the Iraqi government. I think we talked a few minutes ago about how they sort of blew their chance. Uh, and now they are sort of a hybrid of conventional force and terrorist, extremist terrorist group. So uh, we believe it's in the nation's interest to, for a number of reasons, to um, essentially eliminate this group. Uh, they, uh, they do represent a threat to the United States, although maybe not an imminent threat, but they could rapidly uh, transform into that. They threaten uh, very close partners and friends of ours. They could threaten the global economic system. They certainly threaten American citizens abroad, as we've seen uh, in graphic uh, detail. And as important as anything else, they threaten the universal values that we, we uh, believe in. So we believe it's important that this group be uh, deeply suppressed and defeated. Uh, the way we're going to go about doing that is by uh, supporting uh, Iraq in eliminating ISIL from their territory. And we're going, we first, and I think the president was wise in doing this, uh, first wanted to know that we had a government partner in Iraq that would, would uh, sort of get this right. Uh, it would take into account the interests of all the Iraqi people, not just one sect. Uh, and we believe we have that guy in place. It remains to be seen what he carries out, but he's on, on a, currently on a good trajectory. And then we wanted to be able to enable the Iraqi security forces, including the Kurd, Kurd Peshmerga, to take their country back themselves where we could enable them from there. We wanted to make sure that we would be supporting a force that would fight them. And we tested them up near the Mosul Dam by supporting them from the air, and they proved to us that they would fight on the ground, and they won that fight. Uh, so we're cautiously optimistic that they will carry that out. So let's get ISIL out of Iraq. And in order to do that, we've got to eliminate an ISIL safe haven in Syria. And that, so that's why those strikes have expanded <coughs> into Syria. While we're doing that, our, our uh, aim is to train a moderate Syrian force that can ultimately do the same thing in Syria. Because you have to have a force on the ground if you're gonna win this thing. They have to be the ones to push ISIL out of there. And you've heard all this controversy lately about, you know, is the military wanting to put US forces on the ground or not? Really, what has been misinterpreted there is we believe it takes a ground force to win this, but it's not gonna be our ground force. It's gonna be somebody else's. But we will support them from there proven to us that they'll fight if we support them from the air and with intelligence and with training and enabling that sort of thing. And so that's that's a rough sketch of, of what the strategy is. And it's not risk-free. There is no guarantee that this is going to work, but it's, it's really the best approach that we believe we can come up with uh, with the resources we have and the people we're working with on the ground and our coalition partners, which are so important in this role. Uh, and uh, you know, we're going to see what happens over the next year or so. 